Hello, this is your mother. Please come over to my house for meatloaf. Leave your front door open and your lawn unguarded. Sincerely, Mom. Not the zombies. Aww. Mom left me a note. How sweet. Alright, next level. Why'd it get so dark all of a sudden? This can't be good. Oh well, hope you survive the night. Hey, why don't you help me out while you're at it? Okay, guys, so this is the ultimate battle of the fog levels. Instead of fog, you're now going to be dealing with plain darkness and starfruit. Like I said, one of the most useless plants in the entire game. But we're going to, you know, meet ends, ends me with these guys and just let them use them anyways. So here we go. We're going to be going with... Uh, well, first of all, dealing with the fact that it gets dark every five seconds or so, so you can barely see what you're doing. And also, I'm using pumpkins as well here, so that's really nice. Very nice of the creators here. Okay, so I'll deal with those guys right here. Again, this, this level's really annoying since you can't really see what you're doing. But oh well, can't really complain much. And I don't know why, quite yet, why they give you the lower, because they, you know, you can't, there's no fog to, you know, blow away or whatever. Whatever. So we're gonna go with a row of star fruits and a row of cactus to start off with. And since I'm blindly placing stuff here, might as well just place these lily pads over here. I hope I'm placing in the right place. And I don't think we need to put up pumpkins just yet. So of course, the sooner we put them out, the better. But as soon as we get them, we'll just use them on every plant we have. That'd probably be the best way to put it. Okay, there's that. Split P. Um, yeah, split P. We're gonna put this. Let's put, let's put this guy right here. And, uh, is any zombie gains at the end? Nope, not yet. There's a bucket right here, but I think we'll be fine dealing with this guy. Let's get more lily pads out. More lilies. More lilies are rice, nice to have. Um, and let's start. Okay, so the fourth column will be star fruit again. Come on. Let me see what I'm doing. That'd be really nice. Okay, there we go. Oh crap, that's a that's a bucket head. Dang it. Oh wait, wait. Okay, okay, there we go. See, pumpkins are a lifesaver when you're in, you know in a situation like this. Definitely a lifesaver. Okay. All right, give me some room so I can see. Thank you. Room. What the heck am I talking about? Is that? Okay, so here's our magnet room, actually. Now I can show this to you guys. This is what it does. Actually, let's do it while we can see what we're doing. See, so, see like that. It, you know, it grabs the, it grabs the bucket, but look at this. It's stuck there on the magnet. And while it's stuck there, you cannot use that magnet. You have to literally wait for it to get rid of what it's holding on to before you can use it again. So that's where the problem lies with the magnet room, which is why I seldom use them. That's when I use the word seldom, trying to be all smart, which I'm not. Okay. Give me some more star fruit. Even though I don't like star fruit, I'm gonna, you know, you know, give these guys a chance in this one level. Just this one level, that's it. Okay, it may be the minigame as well. That's where we need them need them a lot. Okay. Okay, now we have a you know, a huge wave of zombies coming. But we don't care for no zombies. No, we don't. And I don't have any... Oh, wait, no. Okay, so we got the cactus. Duh. So we'll be fine as long as we have the cacti. Okay, starfruit. Okay, so we have another row right here. Very, very nice. Come on. Alright, let's get another magnet from that. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, duh. I'm trying to plant right there. I should be planted there. Come on. Um, let's get rid of these. Can't see what I'm doing! This is not good! Oh yeah, also, also, magnet shrimps can actually grab those uh, annoying jack-in-the-box zombies as well. Or at least they can grab the jacks, but they can't kill a zombie, obviously. That would, be, that would make him a broken item, basically. If that were the case, I'd probably use them a lot more often, but I'm not. 
So this is actually a really nice step we're going for, even though it's you know it's starfruit, which I don't necessarily agree with, but still. It's just it's just a very nice one to have, nonetheless. Okay. So we're gonna have to put the sea shrooms out in the front because that's the only way place I can see, you know, using them to be beneficial. And we got our second row of uh no second column of fa of a cacti over there. And it looks like we're gonna have a yet yeah, another row of column of starfruit right here. There's that. Um yeah, let's come right there. Oh yeah, can they can also grab pogo sticks, is another thing they can grab. I know I've already mentioned that they can grab football player, football players hats, but that doesn't matter yet because we haven't countered them with the magnet shrooms yet. But whatever, I'm just getting ahead myself. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's plant that right there. Okay. All right. Um, where am I planting? Planting. Thank you. All right, and this is actually the last row. Okay. That, that, and that. All right. So let's go with this, I suppose. And actually start playing out random stuff. That might be fair too. All right, let's just do that since we're at the end here. Okay, there's that. Come on. Just die already, zombies. Thank you. Okay, whoa, what's this? Is that like some catapult or something? Cabbage Pult. Pearls cabbages at the enemy. Oh, really? Oh, by the way, welcome to the fog levels. Whoa, they even found a way onto your roof. Those are some persistent zombies, dude. You'll need to use cabbage pulse here due to your roof's angle. Remember that, and you're good to go. Okay, so long story short, everybody, this is the final world of the game, the roof. Yes. So we had day and night on the front lawn, day and night on the back lawn, and now we're up on the roof. So, as you can probably guess, this is where things start to get a little crazy. Because now, they're changing up the gimmicks again. This time, once again, mushrooms are not really useful at all. At least until we get a certain plant. There's actually gonna be a certain plant we're gonna get some time during the roof levels that will allow you to use mushrooms during the day. But, for the time being, we are, at least for this level, we're limited to just the Cabbage Pult for offense, because if we try to use Pea Shooters, they're just gonna hit the, hit the roof the way it's angled. So, all we can do is just use the Cabbage Pults. I mean, literally, like, the plants you'll be doing, using on the roof levels will be plants that, you know, just catapult stuff upwards. But for the time being, um, we're just gonna go with, uh, other stuff, like, mostly random stuff. We could use the Potato Mines now. You know, since we have the extra space, that is. And let's see what else we're gonna do. Um, squash, jalapeno, jalapenos. <laughs> and, um, let's see. Oh, by the way, this is a bungee zombie right here. And we'll get into bungee zombies later on. But they're just gonna be something really annoying you'll be dealing with in the roof levels. That's all I'm gonna say for now. I can't really quite explain them yet because I want to, you know, get this out of the way first. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to go with random stuff for now. Morning, I haven't chosen any sun producing. Oh crap! I, <laughs> dude, you're such an idiot. How could you forget sunflowers? Sunflowers, man, sunflowers. Okay. Now to start off, you might be wondering, what's with these flower pots here? Flower pots. You need them in order to plant on the roof. Literally, you cannot plant plants if you don't have flower pots. Like, look, look, here. You can only plant in flower pots. <sighs> flower pots! Jeez. So, yes, we're limited to planting on, you know, flower pots. The problem with that is that zombies can actually eat the flower pots. So, until we actually get the flower pot as a, you know, available as a, as a plant that we can use, then you are kind of limited to what you have, what they provide you with. But that's not a big deal, because I'm pretty sure after this level is when we get the, the flower pods that, you know, as a selectable plant. But for now, we just have to worry about, you know, planting our stuff. You know, that's all we have to worry about. But for now, until we are ready to do so, I'm just going to use potato mines until we can actually start getting the cabbage pulse out. But even then, this is, a this is a fairly short level, so we won't have to worry about that 
for too long, I suppose. Alright, come on. Come on! Bring me that sun. Thank you. And we're gonna start getting our cabbage pulse out. Hope it's not too late. Well, if it is, we can just do a cherry bomb. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Except for getting our sun out, that's always a big deal. Always, no matter what. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, cabbage pulse are pretty much just as effective as regular pea shooters are. Except, you know, you, those are what you're required to use on the roof. Now, you can actually use cabbage, you know, uh, catapult type plants on the regular levels, but it's recommended that you, that you use these just for the roof levels because that's where you actually need them. You know, I'm going to use the dirty bomb on this guy because I know he's going to get through those po flower pots, which is not a good thing at all. You know, because in an early level in the, on the roof that we don't have the flower pots as, you know, selectable items, then... It's definitely not a good thing at all to lose your flower pots that the game gave to you because, yeah, you see the idea. Jeez. I seriously, I've been recording for 40 minutes straight now, so, so apologies to my commentary, it just gets worse from here. Okay, so whenever you see this, this is not a good thing. These are the, these are, are the bungee zombies. What they do is, randomly during the level, they will bungee down and steal your plants. Literally. You can kill them, but they're only down there for like five seconds. So, what are the chances that you're actually gonna kill it before it before it steals one of your plants? Probably not very good. So, simply put, those guys are extremely annoying, and they can burn in hell. <laughs> that's my and that's my you know two cents on them. All right. Please don't eat the flower pot. Please don't. Wow. Just, just, just get more crazy. That's all you can do. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can, we can't do anything about this whole thing about these two missing flower pots, which is not good. But that's okay. We're probably not gonna get that far anyways. I'm pretty sure they gave you more than enough flower pots, no matter what. But the, but the zombies do eat, eat through. Then you got some, you know, kind of uh, vulnerable rows. If that happens. You know, such as these two rows right here, but that doesn't matter because the the, way, the level's pretty much all, already over, anyways. All right. Okay. So what else is there to talk about? I don't think there is, to be honest. And, okay. So yes, they can also drop down regular zombies. I forgot to mention that too. Apologies. All right. Now let's actually just celebrate the fact that we're done with the first level at least. These levels are actually not that bad, to be honest. You know, they really aren't. Once you get into them, then you get used to it, and, you know, everything, you know, gets all good from there. But when it first starts off, it's kind of annoying. You know, the fact that you can't really plant anything without flower pots. But you get used to it. You know, but flower pot. the thing is, is that flower pots do cost 25 sun, just like the lily pads did. So, but the thing is that no matter where you plant, you need the flower pots. You know, in those, le in the, you know, the pool levels, you only had to plant the lily pads on the water. But here, you have to plant the, you have, you need the pot, you know, the flower pots no matter where you plant. So, they cost 25 sun, so basically, the way you can go about this is just, you know, say in your mind that every plant you plant on the flower, on the roof, costs an extra 25 sun. So, like, for example, Cabbage Pulse actually costs 125 sun, not 100. You know, unless you're planting on a pre-placed, uh, you know, flower pot by the game. Hey, neighbor! Hey, neighbor! Got some new items for sale! Like what? Oh yes, this! This is what we actually need for the roofs. These roof cleaners add an extra line of defense for, for those difficult roof levels. You know why? Because lawnmowers don't worth don't work crap on your roof. As dumb as it is, they don't. So, what you need is roof cleaners for the roof levels. So yes, we'll buy this because it's, it's an essential item. We're also going to get the rake, because once again, we can't live without it, to be honest. We really can't, knowing me. And also, this actually second page has been added. And looky here. Now, you may notice something different about these plants. These plants that are for sale by Crazy Dave are in purple instead of, you know, blue like the, most of the other plants are. Now, we'll be getting to these plants later on, but basically what they are is that they're plants that you that you more so, <clears throat> more so use to upgrade regular plants. So if you see a plant with a purple thing on it, 
That means you cannot plant it without having the original plant that, that this plant upgrades to planted, and that make, probably makes no sense whatsoever because I'm just wording it really weirdly. And so that means I, I should probably end off this episode because my throat's <laughs> my throat's just going crazy and so is my voice. Okay, so we're gonna end this end this thing off here. Okay. So next time on Let's Play Plants vs Zombies, we're going to be taking on more of the roof levels. Okay. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye. And also, keep the entries for the five-year anniversary coming, please. Don't be afraid to enter just because you haven't seen all, all the videos, because really, nobody has. Alright, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.